I find it extremely weird that no one is talking about blending modes in OBS Studio. It is such a big deal when it comes to OBS becoming more and more comparable to an editing software. You can now have layers that through a weird process of transparency can affect every layer underneath it. And yes, I'm calling them layers on purpose uh, instead of sources because now it's affecting everything else. So it is layered. Anyways, this is mostly what I want to talk about today. But at the same time, I'm feeling generous. You're going to get two gifts. The main idea here is to create alerts that will come with an extra layer meant for the blending mode. So cool, you're used to having graphics for your alerts. That's nice. But now to the same alert, you can have an extra glow layer, for example. And I'm going to show you all of that. But before, here's why you should use today's sponsor, Own Pro. And today's sponsor is Own Pro. I talked about Own Pro before, but today I want to show you something that you can create for yourself in just a couple of minutes. It's just one of many options that Own Pro offers. So I want you to go to own.gg slash pro. That's my special link. I want you to log in. If you don't have an account yet, you can log in with your Twitch account, okay? And I want to show you what you can do with a free account. To the left, you want to go to Scene Builder. You want to click on Complete Setup, Automatic Selection, then just hover around and find something that you enjoy. We're going to stick to the free category, and you're going to see that the overlays are actually available in like nine languages. Anyway, so we're going to click on it once, then we're going to click on Create Scenes. It actually also offers you an alert box. You can click this, now enter your social links. And guess what? Your whole setup is complete. You have your starting soon screen, your ending scene, your BR back scene, your general overlay for like gameplay and stuff, and you even have an intermission scene. Starting soon scene is gonna look like this. You can modify it, move things around, do whatever you want. Intermission scene looks like this. You can also use it as a gameplay scene. Now, all you have to do from there is basically click the link and add them as browser sources in your OBS, and you're good to go. And that was just one of many things that Own Pro offers. I'll let you check it out over at own.gg slash pro. That is own3d.gg slash pro. So here's a demonstration of blending modes. For example, I can create a circle, all right? This wouldn't be difficult to achieve in OBS Studio. Now I can give this circle an outer glow. And as you can see, there's a glow, but the glow is not really affecting the background. And here comes blending mode. I can switch the blending mode of that glow, for example, to add. And you can see that it's actually affecting the background. It is changing the color slightly. It is brightening it. It gives me more options when it comes to how I want something to affect the image. There's also screen, less intense. That's pretty nice. Same thing for a shadow, for example. Here you can see it goes from black and it's just like transparent on the outside or it's feathered, if you will. But if I change this to something like linear burn and I lower the opacity a little bit, you can see that it's kind of burning <laughs> the colors underneath it, giving you a more realistic effect. If we right click on any source, we can see blending mode. We have add, subtract, screen, multiply, lighten, darken. My favorite is add because it's very punchy and very bright. But that's mostly what we're going to be using. I haven't tested it yet, but basically I went into After Effects and I wanted to create something kind of extravagant, a full screen global effect for a tiny normal sub alert. So for the glow layer, this is what I came up with in Adobe After Effects, created this. And then for the actual animation, I have like a cute little star goes up like that, created this like a 3D. I made this in Blender. And there we go. So I use Blender to make this. I'm not going to do Blender tutorials, but uh, yes, I use a tune shader and the little stars you see in the middle is a particle generator. That's it. We're going to add one of the animations as a, well, we could add both as media sources, but we'll see. It is a WebM. I'm going to put it on a loop right now. And there it is. It's a 720p one. And basically I want it to be kind of in a corner. If you want to trigger this with something like Streamerbot or whatever else you're using and then put the name with the text or whatever, do whatever you want with it. It's yours now. <laughs> Boom. Uh, I just realized actually if I want to have a different blending mode for both, they should probably not be in the same scene. So I'm going to delete that. I'm sorry. I wasted your time. Click plus, go to media source and glow burst. Burser. Now go find the one you just exported. Well, you're not going to export it because I'm giving it to you. Glowlayer.webm. I'm going to keep that on a loop. Nice. So let's say that I have my full screen or my game scene here. Let's put some fake gameplay right there. Right. Pretend I'm playing Fortnite right now. We can add this as a scene and. <laughs> so see, that's that would be too much. 
that would be too much. You can't go like from zero to a hundred to full bright white screen. So now we can right click and this is my first time testing this. Go to blending mode and use anything that will brighten it. So add screen and lighten. Let's test add. And of course it is uh, too bright because <laughs> white is still going to be white. Let's test a screen. Okay. Still white, still completely white. Let's test lighten. It is completely white, but it don't matter because now we can add a filter since it's just a source and we can go to color correction and we can literally color correct our mistake of trying to blind people. So here in color multiply, if you want to change the color, for example, you can just pick a color. Which color should it be? This one. And now. Now it's blue. It's also much more reasonable <laughs> of an effect. <laughs> what happens if I play with the saturation? Okay, saturation actually bumps up the glow effect. Look at that. You see the blue? You get a bigger outline. What happens if I hue shift? And now we can pick the color of the glow with the hue shift, but you're limited to green and blue. Anyways, you can play around with it. That's the that's the moral of the story. You want it to be orange, orange. Let's go. So you can make it match whatever color scheme you have going on. But of course, keep in mind that you can also lower the opacity if it's still too much. You can just have a more subtle effect. See that? And we're on lighten right now. Let's go back to maybe add. And now let's move up the opacity. There we go. I think that's pretty cool. So let's go back to a bright blue. Nice. So I want to show you what I picture the alert would look like by adding an extra media source. Yes, it's the one I just removed. But basically, this is where the alert would be. Let me group them up and it would look like this. You see that? You see what I mean? And of course, you would have the name of the follower or the sub. I think I'm going to use this for gifted subs because I don't think I have a specific one. Let me open up um, uh, Stream Elements, for example, and try to add that star separately. I don't remember if Stream Elements accepts WebM videos. We'll figure it out. I'll check my overlays and then my alerts, settings, uh, subscriber, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I want to test. I want to test my current sub alert. funny i did that in after effects but it was 2d back then <laughs> i want to go to variation settings and i want to go to subscriber gift go to settings change video upload put the star animation seems to work there we go click submit awesome you just want to make sure that you have uh image up top and then text at the bottom here and also the total duration of this is about seven seconds so here where it says alert duration you can set that to seven i believe that's it i can turn off my example here and i can go check uh make sure i save because i already have my alert box in there okay so now i can test it and quickly go to obs and see that it is there and it works oh also important is sound. Of course, I downloaded something that was kind of anime ish because that specific animation is like literally like a anime inspired. <laughs> so we can add that into our service. Again, if you're using Streamlabs, same thing. We can upload sound, click upload and it's right there. It is by Alkane text and it's an anime sword sound effect. We can submit it. You have the volume slider here, but doesn't matter. Save variation. I don't hear it. Born too late to explore the earth. Born too early to explore the universe. Born perfectly to explore dank memes. Oh, it's a TTS test. <laughs> I don't think you can put TTS with gifted subs anyways. Let me turn that off. Now we save and now we test it. There we go. So this is how you would use it in the context of you having already like a service and blah, blah, blah. But for that other glow layer, you add this as its own alert, but it's a full screen alert. So you would need two different browser source for that. We're also gonna delete that new scene just to make sure we don't have any duplicates. So I already have the gifted sub thing going on. Great. I'm gonna save one last time and I'm gonna go back 
I'm gonna click on new overlay, 1080p is good. We're gonna add a widget. It's going to be an alert box. We're gonna turn off everything that we don't want. Okay. This is the default alert. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna clear the sound. I'm gonna turn off community gifts. I'm gonna turn off a resubscriber. And now in settings, I'm gonna add that video. Change video, upload. And this time we could put the glow layer. Cool, it's right there. Click submit, save variation, play it. You can see we have a size issue and also the text. We don't want the text because we already have the text on the other one. So underneath layout here, alert message. We're gonna delete all that. Make sure alert duration is seven seconds. Click save variation, play it again. Nice, we got rid of the text. Now go back, close the settings and under position and style, you wanna put 1080p, 1920, 1080. Up top, you wanna name it and then you wanna save. Copy the link over here. Then in OBS Studio, you can just add it as a browser source. Click OK, remember it was 1080p, paste the link and uh, it should be there. It's transparent, but it should be there. I'm just going to make sure I drag it underneath my normal alert box. Oh yeah. And of course you want to modify it because right now it's just that bright one that I shared. So right click, blending mode, add, filters, color correction, select color, pick whatever color you want, play with the opacity. Okay. And now you want to go to emulate, subscriber event. Can we even see this? And then click gift. Why is this tiny? Oh wait, I think I know why. Go to alert variation settings, go here in settings. And I believe it should be that one, text over image. So it will fill the screen, hopefully. Hopefully that's it. Save variation, click save and test this one only. There we go. Now you can go and emulate. Subscriber event, gift and Nice. I'll definitely think about changing the text color here because it blends in with that specific color too much. But uh, we did it. <laughs> so finally, this is what it looks like. We will emulate a gifted sub. So subscriber event, gift and. It seems like it's much, but you can completely control the opacity, the intensity, the color, everything. And that's the big advantage with using blending modes. So now you can go out there and be super creative and do some cool stuff with it. And while you're doing that, make sure you follow me on Twitch. I'll see you next time. Go out there, make me proud. Get level. Out.